Hello everyone, I'm Coyote Jack, I'm well. We have this one from October 19th, and just like I said with Bandai Namco and all those fucking Japanese companies, they are just bending over and doing the historical revisionism. They, they want to give you slop from the worst they did in the past. So this is an example. Apparently in the Sonic Generations remasters, Sega Talk Sonic holding Amy Rose's face was microaggressive and an example of toxic masculinity, so they changed the scene. They also censored Rogue the Bat. Dude, I, I'm not worried. I'm not. But I, I, I know full well that that character <laughs> uh, hold out the franchise for quite some time. I have I had the distaste of finding out how how they do rule 34 of that. <laughs> but still, if well, if they're making rule 34 of that, at least it means that they is appealing in some capacity, and they're willing to support you. That's one thing. So your sensor is one <laughs> character that. Sonic fans supported, and just to continue with what what he, manga lawyer posted here, nothing to see here, folks. Just your typical historical revisionism. By the way, they did the list of the original on Steam as it never happened. Exactly. They say, yeah, we are not going to sell this anymore. We are just pushing this one, and well, it's censored, stoned down, it's slab from our previous wars. Give us sixty dollars. Give us seventy dollars. Big it, and it all goes like that. Those companies, they what they once once they they used to ha have to actually be appealing, it's not there anymore. And since they can't create new stuff, they grab what did in the past and say, yeah, historical revisionism to a piece to Black Rock's cock. The ESG agenda, because let's face it, all of those companies are in bed with that. They decided it was more important to let themselves bog in by Black Rock in investment. Because let's face it, when you go public, you are open to any sort of investors. And those at the end of the day, they are the ones that are going to own your ass. And... Let's not lie ourselves. They could, it this could have been easily avoided if they just top it, chase it, investors' money, and focus it more on customers. Even if they had to put in a freeze uh, the the IPs that once they were willing to actually finance to lay low, but no, they're not doing that. Instead, they are just, yeah, what we created before, yeah, we are just going to do this stupid shit. Just like this screenshot. And just to end this video, since I'm not going to bother you much, you, this one is the perfect example of what I said with my rant of Bandai Namco, and how Japan is just destroying themselves, just like the US destroyed their industry. You can trust Bandai Namco. You can't. Koi Tecmo, Sega, Krapcon, etc. None of the publicly traded Japanese companies. Exactly, just what, like the example I was saying. The only way to change this is by curbing your gaming addiction. Either go indie, find ways to play the old stuff through Seven Seas, and if you have the money and you want to play the original, you have the opportunities, the access to it. Go ahead, even. I know I 7 Cs Need for Speed Most Wanted from 2005 years ago, but I still wanted those original copies because it was a beloved franchise to me, at least that entry. So I have them for my PS2 and my Xbox 360. Just saying, and it, it cost me cheap. Primarily, it don't give much money to these fucking scalpers. But anyway. Continue on what he says here. It's the only way to change this... Yeah, we read that. Read books, play other titles and indies, and call them out. These companies... These companies are already unrecognizable. 
So yeah, keep calling the law. Just like at the start of the statement, publicly traded company. Koi Tecmo, Bandai Namco, Crapcon, Sega. All are publicly traded companies. BlackRock is never going to let them go. Until those fucking companies lose so much fucking money that they go bankrupt. And if there is a fucking miracle for them to not go bankrupt, the only way for to survive for them is either just delete themselves from the public market, go private, and license to, to their piece to someone that actually cares of. Because that's the only way I could see they could clean themselves up. Because in the current state they are, nah, it's prefer, it's the best, and it's the preferred option to just go bankrupt and let new companies that learn from the mistakes of these fucking Japanese companies that bend it over the ESG Western globalist agenda. That yeah, this is going to happen to you the next time. The AI and remember. The creator of Taken got bought her when uh, this this account manga lawyer called out the ESG because some fucking Sony pony and worse Sony pony was tagging Harada. Just so could say yeah, just shit on this bitch on something like that. Whatever the the dialect they use, <laughs> to be honest. Sony ponies, ah oh man, it's, and he sided with them, and attacked Mongol lawyer, even though Tekken 8 was not the target, but even since he decided to jump in, let's call out, yeah, the horrible monetization of the game, the tone down of their characters, the outfits are more censored than the previous ones, and on top of that, you have this fucking character nonsense in your profile where you choose body type A, body type B. Simple as that. So, <laughs> let's not let's not forget those companies are not salvageable at this point. Well, anyway, that's all I wanted to share here with you for now. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a pretty good day. Please. Take care.